Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Bam. Today I show you how to set up your router to create a 5 GHz local network to be dedicated entirely to Quest 2 to be able to use it on PC via AirLink or virtual desktop without any interference from other device connected on the same network. Few steps are required and you don't need to have any in-depth knowledge about technology. Stick to this guide anyway and do not play too much with the settings of your router if you don't know where to put your hands. Now let's start with the guide. First, make sure your router has the 2.4G and 5G channel. If you only have the 2.4G, it's probably an old model and you will not be able to create a dedicated LAN. In this regard, watch the video in which I suggest the best gaming router to make the most of the potential of the Quest 2 used as PC VR headset. Also know that even if your router were to have the 5G channel, it's not essential that it's Wi-Fi 6. Now that you have verified that your router has a dedicated 5G channel, it's time to fiddle through the settings. Open a page of your internet browser and type http .1 in the address bar and press enter. If this address does not give any result, look in the manual of your router for the IP address to access the settings of the device. Once you reach the login page, enter the login credential that should be written on a plate that you usually find on the back of your router. Enter this data and you should be in the router's home. If your router has dual channels of 2.4G and 5G, by default it should be set to allow access to both channels with the same password, which should not be the case, since devices such as phone or PC that take advantage of 5G could access the channel automatically. Router interfaces aren't all the same, so look for network section and wireless settings. In the general tab you should see the name of the 2.4G and 5G network and its information such as network name, frequency, bandwidth and other information including the password and the box to determine whether these two networks can be accessed with the same credential. As I mentioned, they must be different, so uncheck the box same settings for 2.4 and 5G. If you cannot do this, it's because the option is locked and you need to turn off the mesh network first. Always in the same section you are, look for mesh and turn off the switch. It may ask for a restart of the router, then save, restart, login again, and when you return to network wireless general, you will be able to uncheck same settings for 2.4 and 5G. Now you can give a name and a password to the two networks independently. To make sure you are connecting to the correct network, select your router's 5G network and call it Quest 2. Select the maximum available bandwidth, set up a single connectable device and enter a password with WPA, WPA2 PSK security protocol. Save the changes and restart your router. Now, where in Quest 2, you should be able to select the network you called Quest 2 and access it by entering the password you have chosen. At this point, all you have to do is activate AirLink and connect the headset to your PC to be able to take advantage of the PC VR games libraries to play it without cables. If you have not yet activated AirLink, follow this guide where I explain you how to activate AirLink. Otherwise, if you use Virtual Desktop, you can follow this other guide where I explain you how to download, set up and use Virtual Desktop. Performance depends anyway on the power of your PC and your router and not on the line because connection between PC and headsets take place via local network so even without an internet connection. So if something do not go as you hoped, do not blame your internet connection but your shitty PC. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you manage to do all these steps and remember that in the channel you will find the guides on how to improve the graphics on Quest 2 if you use both with AirLink or Link Cable. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell from Benitol. See you to the next one and see ya in VR. Bye guys.